Hello, this is Calvin's. Today I just want to demonstrate to you a very very crucial component of this particular fee uh, payment management system. Uh, the, other pre the other video I was demonstrating on how you're able to utilize this particular tool and uh, therefore today I want to be able to dwell so much on it. I just want to demonstrate on how you're able to send those notifications to the parents uh, parents the students in your school so let me log in very fast to demonstrate how that one can be done and my fan sometimes makes a lot of noise so you bear with me you bear with me sometimes my fan makes a lot of noise so now this is the dashboard here you have a various uh, summary it's summarizing, summarizing almost everything in this particular software so we have the launch main form here this is the form where you'll be doing almost everything so you will add classes already there's some some classes here from one from two class one pp1 class five so uh, it can work with all the levels so you can add streams here okay you can uh, add a fee payment category remember in a school we have a fee payment categories so that all all every student is not paying the same amount of fee you realize that there are certain group of uh, students who are paying a uh, certain amount of fee okay so the fee payment is not uniform so that is fee payment category then we have add student so here you'll be able to add the student in your, in your particular in this particular system so okay so now uh, let me show you also this particular module for fee payment here you'll be receiving fee term two then term three okay so for example let me say i want to receive fee from this student here bernard tunoi okay bernard tunoi let me say he's paying he's paying uh 1800 then we save remember it say it it, it it prints the receipt instantly so once you have received fee this is receipt module you'll be able to pay a fee so you distribute this amount uh, so that you are able to have your fee payment receipt printed so now it is printing the receipt and now because I'm not connected to printer I'll be printing it just on PDF so really that's uh, printed to PDF so you'll be able to receive fee like that so term 2 the same way if you are in term 2 now you receive fee in that particular manner you search then that's the balance for this student in term two let me say i'm paying uh, five thousand so you just save that then uh, uh, there's going to be a pop-up for receipt module or receipt form this one here where you distribute uh, that amount into various vote heads so you can distribute into various vote heads like that maybe one thousand maybe one thousand five hundred okay maybe five hundred okay that is uh, then one thousand then that is the distribution you can distribute it the way you want okay so remember this five thousand so you might make sure it is distributed according to that amount so like now we have three thousand four thousand so let me just have uh, this one should just be one thousand just to balance that okay then you print your receipts so once you have printed receipts you'll be able to present it to the the student who have paid the fee so already it's printed so you can save it because i'm not connected to printer okay so now that is how you'll be receiving this uh receiving fee so now let's say you want to send a notification to the parents so that they're able to know the amount they are owing the school in terms of fee arrears so you'll come here and send a fee and, and, and send uh, sms's so let's say you want to send to a particular category probably probably we can talk about uh, let's say uh, maybe day from one the fee balance minimum from which you are sending the the the, the, the notifications on so let's say 1000 that means you are sending notification to people with fee balance or fee arise from 1000 onwards 
now we are sending to day from one that particular category only then clear fee before you so you can put the dates you expect them to clear so maybe 28 28 uh, may 2023 and then you are in term one or term two term three so let's say we are in term one so that means you're only going to send uh notifications based on term one fee payment okay so then you send notifications so uh the system is going to use your normal the normal tariff for your carrier if, for example if it's for safaricom then it's going to use the normal charges safaricom charges for each sms if it is airtel the same way okay so let me try to send that so all the day from one i got with the fee balances one thousand and above are going to get notifications okay so you send that so once it has sent uh, the notifications okay like now it has sent so we are expecting to receive notification i've used my number so already i've seen that i have a notification here there's also because my phone is connected to the laptop already you've, you're seeing that from cfs nuket that is cool take note that bernard tunoi has a fee balance of kenya shilling 7200 please clear before this date to avoid being sent home okay so that is the only day from one so you can see the same so we can as well change we can as well change the category let's say which one which one now okay let's say boarding boarding class two i don't know whether there's a student there for demonstration so okay we can send still term one but we can even send for term two if at all we are in term two or term three let me just send okay let me send for term two let me assume we are in term two so let me send that so it's sent successfully okay okay i think i've received that that one i used to my is here okay fee balance of twenty four thousand. please clear before that to avoid being sent home so it will send accordingly it will send accordingly so even if you put a day from one okay that student with day from one will be able to receive notification through the parent so let me also try that one i think i have one student saved in that one day from one okay and uh, we have received that and i've also received that okay when i look at my phone i'm able to see which are located it's also on my laptop here we want to know yet fee balance of 7200 clear before that so it will send accordingly okay and you have seen it is sending and i have quite a number of messages now on my phone so because i used my number just to demonstrate I use my have uh, realized that okay this this one has already arrived peter jujuba has a fee balance of sixteen thousand. please clear before that to avoid being sent home so those are notifications that i'm receiving in my phone because now well those those students i want to assume they are my i'm their guardian and now the notifications are coming straight 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 to my phone okay and you can see it's very very nice you don't send don't send blanket notifications you need to put categories you need to put fee balance minimum fee balance then you need to put dates that you are giving as deadline okay so friends and colleagues very very nice want to beseech you to use this particular tool in, an, in ensuring a seamless management of fee payments in your school because it is just a very good tool.